Hey, it's Finn here. I'm at the Formula E World Championships for the Visionaries competition with DHL, and I'm going to take you behind the scenes. Earlier this year, DHL and I launched a competition in search of two young visionaries, and today I'm meeting the winners. This is William. He submitted a kick-ass idea for turning paper waste into hand sanitizer by using bioethanol. And this is Ahmed, who proposed a sports stadium that powers itself from the kinetic energy generated by the sports fans. We're here to meet the team at DHL and Formula E who contributed to making it the first global sport to be certified with a net zero carbon footprint. The truth is that there can be a lot of greenwashing around carbon reduction, and so we took the time to ask about the details that led to that certification. I was amazed by the amount of logistics that go into moving an event like this around the world and the commitment that each person we talked to had for keeping this sport to a minimum footprint. One of the most inspiring people we met was Christian Silk, who runs one of the teams called Neo333 Racing. It turns out he's an Extinction Rebellion activist, and it was genuinely really refreshing to hear him talk honestly about the climate crisis and how his team were changing the way they operate. I'm inspired to see an entire sport aim for carbon neutrality. We need more leadership like this. But I was even more inspired to meet young people like William and Ahmed who are rising up to meet the challenges we face in the future. When it comes to addressing the climate crisis, every move counts.